that the crowd and the agents here are arranged. All right, uh, that there is uh, Duncan Haimba live for us in uh, Kakamega where the Odeon primaries are taking place. A rather alarming situation there um, with regard to the secrecy of that ballot, something we will be discussing with my panelists in studio in just a moment. But for now, let's cross over live to Nandi County. Our people are naturally farmers in as far as um, agriculture is concerned and, and therefore I've said that uh, I'm going to look at dairy. I want to offer free AI services for a period of uh, for some time so that we can turn around and upgrade our, our breeds so, so that our people can uh, really get good breeds that can give um, um, milk, enough milk for people to sell and, and, and gain uh, and get, get something from it. And, uh, and therefore, it is free AI uh, followed by installation of coolers across the county and therefore... Uh, eventually we, we construct or we come up with a, a milk processing plant. That is one area that we are going to, to, to look at critically. Secondly, if you look at the county, there are three um, ec uh, agro-ecological zones. We have the lower part with the sugarcane, followed by coffee, and uh, followed by tea, and, and then now maize and, 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 and an area like Mosop and the other areas that are good for, for, for dairy and and other things. So we, what we are saying is that uh, we want to jumpstart the whole thing and uh, I'm going to, to look at issues of coffee and I've said that uh, we are going to assist farmers to plant coffee so that they can be economically empowered in one year they will start getting income. Issues concerning um, sugarcane, we are going to bring in new varieties of, of sugarcane that, that, are short, uh, that take short time to mature, that are disease resistant and, and therefore we, we, we let our people get their income as early as possible, no delaying like the way it is now for 18 months and 24 months. Um, when it comes to you know areas like um, Masop and, and horticultural uh, areas, we want to, to bring some transformation. We bring in training, we bring in some zoning and, and, and bringing in some technology in as far as um, uh, horticultural uh, uh, development is concerned because we want to export like any other part of the country. We want to see flowers, we want to see um, vegetables and any other thing that can be exported because we already have a Eldorette Airport that we, we can use it. We can also still transport to Nairobi and export. This is to ensure that our people get income because that is the greatest danger that is affecting people because people are poor not because of natural resources but because of uh, lack of know-how uh, because of lack of leadership that brings them together to to ensure that they, 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 they exploit the resources they have. In education, we, we have a challenge. Poverty has brought in a lot of problems. People are dropping out, students are dropping out. Um, uh, and therefore, uh, we need to look at bursaries. The current regime has, has, has not done very well. Uh, they would have done better. Um, they, they've, they've only uh, given out about uh, 1.6 million shillings per ward uh, against a population of 5,000 kids. And, and that is peanuts and that is a drop in the ocean. What I've, <coughs> I've promised is that uh, we are going to equitably um, bring in um, or, or allocate bursaries and uh, I'm going to allocate about 300 million shillings so that uh, each ward We'll get at least 10 billion shillings so, so that uh, we bring up our, 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 student, our kids and, and, and get a key dri driver on uh, economic growth. And uh, you realize that in our, our county, um, the current regime would have done better. It is, it is uh, in a sorry state. There is no serious infrastructural development as we speak now. And, and therefore, we are going to, to look at it and, and ensure that we open areas that are now locked in as far as uh, roads are concerned, we construct bridges and, 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 and ensure that uh, there is connectivity across the county. I want to say that uh, we want to bring in professionalism in, 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 in road construction. When you look at what is happening now, it is, it is, it is really uh, something that uh, one can say uh, there is no seriousness in it because a road has to be surveyed, a road has to be you know, used material start that are tested like maram. And also you have drainages and, and culverts so that uh, the road can last longer 
and we use less. So, so we are going to look at roads. We want to access areas that have potential in agriculture. We want to connect the county with markets that are available and with the counties that are, are surrounding, like Sumu, like Kamega, like Eldred, like, like, like uh, these other counties, so that our produce uh, will, 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 will manage or we will manage to ensure that uh, our produce reaches the markets that are around us. We want also to, to ensure that um, transport system is, 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 is look at properly because if, if the transport is not efficient, there is a lot of wastage uh, in as far as transportation is concerned. And, uh, and therefore, we are going to look at infrastructure as a whole in a way that uh, will, you know, will, uh, will catalyze uh, development and, and bring up the economic growth. Look at the area like uh, water. Water is a right. Water is life. And, and, and we, we, this 21st century, we expect every home, every home, and most of the water connectivity will only be in a. Anyway, it is. It, it is. It is. Um, you use gravity. You use less money because. Um, the, the hills and the, and the rivers that are around will, will, will really enable us to spend less but ensure that every home gets water. So that is an area we are going to focus on. Not only water for drinking, but water for use in the farms, for our um, daily uh, animals and, and the like, so that uh, we push the agenda of economic empowerment with the people. Um, hospitals as it is now is uh, in sorry state. I must say that uh, we are not, uh, our people are not being served well in as far as hospitals are concerned. You realize about 60% of the people have to be, uh, have to move or have to be taken to Eldoret or the nearby towns to get treatment and most of the time private hospitals. Uh, simply because medical personnel and at the same time have facilities and equipment that uh, is possible and, and to ensure that our people are secure and they are confident of their government. There are other areas like youth. Youth, our youth are, are, are in, like any other um, county, uh, is, 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 they are cornered in as far as uh, life is concerned. Employment is, is an issue. These people have gone to school, they are full of energy, but they are idle. And, and therefore, if we are not careful, we are killing a generation that needs to be rescued so that uh, this country and the county uh, by itself can, 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 you know, can move forward utilizing and harnessing the energies of the youth. And I have stated very clearly that um, uh, my agenda, <clears throat> in as far as the youth is concerned, is as follows. All right, there is uh, former agriculture CS uh, Felix Kosge, who is outlining his manifesto for his gubernatorial bid in Nandi County just hours after his arrival. A former ODM national chair, Henry Kosge, also launched or outlined his manifesto this morning. Henry Kosge is also running for the position of governor of Nandi County, both of them under the Jubilee ticket. They will have